Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? This is the same related here, representing Team JVS, here to give you guys another movie review straight from TIFF 2023. We had the honor of being able to go and uh, be on site at uh, the Toronto International Film Festival. We've seen a lot of crazy movies. We've seen a lot of amazing talent in some of the best movies this year. And I am thrilled to talk about Hitman. Hitman is directed by Richard Linklaster. This is starring Glenn Powell, um, Adria Ejorn, uh, Rita, and a slew of other amazing actors. But this is honestly all on the backs of Glenn Powell. Glenn Powell plays the role of, um, <laughs> of Gary. And Gary, I don't even know how to describe it. Gary is a normal college professor um, that assess people's mannerisms, how they interact, how they, you know, go and navigate themselves. And at the same time, on the side, he helps out with um, criminal cases as a consultant to be able to help with the tech work. And then lo and behold, some, some, at some point, the guy that normally goes undercover to go and try to infiltrate to see if they can catch somebody in a paid hit um he has to go and kind of go undercover and substitute for that one person uh, ironically the guy that was the person he's replacing is the guy that played dwight in um in the walking dead series but um this is the crazy thing about this film you guys um because uh yeah austin um amilo is the person that i'm talking about that is he took the job from the crazy thing about this film it has got everything. It is beyond entertaining because I, I I think I thought this was gonna be really serious, but it's not. There's a lot of dark comedy. There's a lot of like improv and like changing up of certain disguises because the truth of the matter is like, it's not necessarily that Gary is an actual hitman. He's playing what a person would perceive to be a hitman, but he has to act so many different characters. And the fascinating thing about this one is that I didn't know that Glenn Powell could act funny like this. Like he's charming, he's engaging, but he is downright funny. And it feels like they sculpted a character that, is very believable. Like a person that, you know, everybody perceives them to be kind of a pushover. Everybody kind of perceives them to not do much. But I mean, he kind of has been in the gun range. He's kind of gone and assessed certain things. He keeps himself physically fit. But he's choosing to be all these other different people, specifically one other person. I'm not going to name the name. And I think the thing I love about the performance from Glenn is that he does it flawlessly. Like every single one of these different incarnations of characters, he embodies. But I think the thing that makes it so fascinating, it's not like a, you know, masker of the skies kind of situation, is that I think on a subconscious level, the way that they wrote this, and I think that's why I think this is a very smart script, is that his, his excuse to do this is that you know, I'm doing this for the betterment of mankind. I'm doing this to help people, to crack down on people that are doing this. But every single time that he does catch somebody in the act of hiring a hitman, he also has to go to the court and actually witness them doing what they do. And then he starts to kind of lose himself. It's not just like him going undercover. Part of him is allowing himself to feel something he's never felt before. And it goes to this process of can people actually subconsciously change who they are? If they believe it enough, they technically can. And I think that that's fascinating to me um, because I kind of come from home beginnings. Like I was very shy uh, when I was younger. I would never be caught in the middle of a, uh, a camera like this, let alone out outwardly speaking. Like, I'm, yeah, I was athlete and did all these other kind of things. It's just, it's a complete 180 from who I am now today. And I think that I, I really connect with that because it's not uh, so much that he wanted to recreate himself. It just naturally happened because of the situation he was put in. And I think when you watch the metamorphosis of these certain personalities, he starts to kind of bleed together. 
it is so fascinating. The other part of this, this actually is a real person. Gary uh, Johnson is an actual person. Now, in this movie, it's so entertaining because it's, it is some murder. It is some death. It is some craziness and some threats and some shenanigans. But they exaggerate the truth. They've already explained it, you know, that the directors and such writers wanted to kind of make it very entertaining. And so I think that they, that was a good call because I felt like anything could happen. Um, but they did leave at the end of the movie, you know, that, you know, this person did exist, this did happen in this way. Um, but I think a part of it from a psychological standpoint is what's the most interesting thing to me. I mean, I think that the, the costume design, the makeup design was really on key. They did a really good job with those transitions. Because this movie, honestly, if it wasn't for that in his portrayals, I mean, I do think he also has got great chemistry with um, Adria. Like, she lights up every single scene she's in. She's so lovable and intriguing and it seems at times mysterious. Um, but him, off the whims of his performance in this one, this makes this one of the most entertaining comedy thrillers um, that I've seen it to. This is an A for me. I, I actually really, really enjoyed Hitman to the point that I would go watch it again. But again, I think the psychological transformation side of it is what really uh, connected with me because I was like, this is such an interesting concept. And also down to when they actually got to the very end of it. And even though this is not necessarily the exact ending of how it actually happened, it still is very intriguing and interesting to me. So I highly recommend you go and check out Hitman. I don't think it's going to do you wrong. I'll talk to you guys a little later. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and shout out again to Glenn. He's done it again year after year. Devotion, Top Gun, and now Hitman. The sky's the limit for this guy. All right, peace, y'all.